Before we have any examples, let's make sure we have CV and EB straight. They're similar but not the exact same thing, which is which can get very confusing. Both deal with changes in price and how they affect the ability. The difference lies in which price has old or new, which level of utility you use to calculate them. In both situations, prices can change. It can go up or down. Let's begin. Variation or CV is how much money we would have to give to or take away from the consumer to get them back to the same level of utility before they had the prices change. So to calculate CV, you try to get the consumer to the initial utility level at the new prices by changing income. The process for calculating CV is generally as follows. The first process is to find the demand function. The second is to plug the demand function into utility function. Next is to solve the utility level achieved at the old income and old prices. Fourth process is set the value found in step 3 equal to the utility function using new prices and unknown new income and solve for the new income. Track your old income from your new income found in step 4 and that's your CV. Equivalent variation is how much money the consumer would be willing to give up or be paid to prevent prices from changing. It is the change in income that would get them to the same new utility level as the change in price would if it happened. To get EV, we get the consumer to a different utility level under all prices by changing income. The process for calculating EV is generally as follows. First one is demand functions. Second is to plug demand functions into utility functions. Third is to solve the utility level achieved at the old income and new prices. Fourth is to set the value found in step 3. Equal to the utility function is to pay prices in the new income. So for new income. And number five, subtract income fund in step 4 for the old income. And that's the Remember for CV, we use initial utility and new prices. That means we'll have to calculate the utility level under the original price vector P equals 1 and 2. Remember that with perfect substitutes, we have three different possible demand functions, which vary with prices. And similarly for good 2, since at the original prices, P1 is lesser than P2, the consumer will demand only good 1. Utility before the price change will be... After the price change, we'll have... P1 greater than P2. So the consumer will shift all their demand over to good 2. We now have to solve for a new income that gives them 
a utility equal to utility old under the new prices. To get their CV, subtract the old income from the new income. Utility before the price change is... To find the new income, set the utility function using the demand functions and the new prices equal to 80. Again, CV is the new income minus the old income. Now, let's compute for EV. Utility after the price change is... To find the new income, we find what income would be required to get the consumer to a utility level of 50 under the old prices. Thus, EV is... Thank you.